All right, so we're ready to power it on. Let's go ahead and hit the power switch there in the back. All right, so we do get a logo there. Hopefully you guys can see. And I see some lights come on inside. Looks like it's loading up. And there we go. So we do have a nice light. It's actually quite bright, even with this lid on. And it is coming here from the front, lighting that way. All right, so here we're gonna choose our language, which is already set on English. Click Next. The region for global. Now we're gonna connect it to Wi-Fi which obviously you need to do if you want to control it from your computer. All right, so we're connected, click next. So here we can log in and you can scan that to download the app. Let's just go ahead and skip this for now. But yeah, that's how you would connect by making a cloud account. So for next part, it's going to do self-testing, which is basically the input shaping and the auto leveling. So we're gonna to need to insert the USB drive that came with the printer. So you can do that as the file that does that is on there. And click start, I found it and it's starting to move. These are all the things it's gonna do. We've got self-test, input, outer leveling. They check the X, the Y, and the Z. Everything's good there. And there we have our progress bar there, how long I guess it's gonna take. It just says about 10 minutes. Please be patient. The bed is going up. You can kinda see, it's got lead screws there, three of them. See if we can see underneath the bed. That's what it looks like. We do have a heated bed, obviously, and it looks like there's some sensors under there also, but it's pretty much covered up. Not too much to see. So, it's really close to the nozzle. A little hard to see as the light is really bright on the top. So now it's saying it's going to start the residence. So basically here, what you want to do is you want to leave it the way it is. I'll probably close the door also, and we're gonna let it do its residence. Maybe put this on top too. So it kind of has everything on there to calibrate itself. We'll confirm, and there it goes. So it's basically gonna move the nozzle back and forth and the bed and things like that. So basically taking measurements for the input shaping so you can you know, have smooth travels and when it's printing, it's not gonna be showing up in the prints, the vibrations. And there it goes, it started that. Just going really quick back and forth. But yeah, we're just gonna let it do that. And you guys probably hear it, everything's gonna vibrate. And that's pretty normal. So yeah, you wanna do this of how you're gonna use the printer. So don't you know leave anything on top of it or do it on the table that you'll be using it. Okay, so it looks like it's preheating now. And it said it's gonna be wiping nozzle. So it's over there in that corner. Everything seems to work. There it goes, so this is wiping. There it goes. There's that little wipe spot over there in the corner. So now it's cooling off to 140, and now it's gonna probe the bed for the leveling. So I guess I wanted to make sure that it's clean before it starts probing everything. So we're gonna let it do that and calibrate itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and find some filament for the Ace Pro, so we can go ahead and install that shortly here. All right, so it looks like it's done with all the testing and calibrating, and we get our main menu. So we are connected to Wi-Fi, which is good, because now we can connect with our app or even the computer. Let's see what happens if we click here. Okay, so we do have a test model on the local storage. Let's see what it is. Oh, there's quite a few of them, nice. And we do have a color print also, that's good. So let's go back. We got the drive here that we can read. Which is this going to be the USB there? So we do have some files here, looks like. Okay, so it does have the slicer on there. All right, so not too much there. Also got the cloud once you connect and the history of what you printed. Over here is going to be our Ace Pro. And we have three choices up there. We got the holder, the Ace 1, and the Ace 2. So we don't have anything connected. We actually do, but we haven't powered it on. So let's go ahead and hit the power button there. Okay, so it lights up. Go ahead and open it up. And on the menu, it actually shows us that it is connected, but we have nothing in there, which we need to go ahead and put some filament in. And I got some anacubic filament ready. So I really love this color. It's tropical turquoise. And we got some other interesting colors like this interstellar violet and some greener and some peachy one. So yeah, that will get us started. And you guys can see we have one, two, three, four. And that's going to be what's showing up here. And if you guys see right here, it says dryer. You can actually turn that on and this thing will start heating up. And it'll act like a dryer for the filament, which is really cool that it can do that also. So the way this works is you obviously just set it in there. And just like that. And then you're going to take the end, make sure you cut it. And we're going to feed it here on number one. And it should sense it. And there it goes and it's grabbing it. And you guys can see it's actually pushing it through. And let's see if we close this thing. Okay, yes, this definitely 
right here are the new guides right here where it kind of goes right in between the spool here where it keeps it from moving side to side too much and each one has them so you pushed it through you guys can kind of see the color there maybe but it's just over here it hasn't went all the way down and you guys can see it even knows what color we're on and the reason for that is because the anti-cubic rolls are actually rfid with you know the type and the color of the filament it is so it makes it quite simple when you install it and by the way i'm really happy that they went to the plastic rolls instead of these cardboard ones because these were a nightmare to use in the ace pro as the cardboard was just not perfect and dented and go crazy inside and cause failures so yeah i'm really happy to see that change let's go ahead and feed number two here okay i didn't put it deep enough make sure you push it all the way down in there because it wasn't doing anything but now it's pulling it through so you guys can see this thing's jumping around a lot and so these new grooves here are going to really help it keep it from jumping around as now it just rubs right on the sides very nice really like that all right so let's go ahead and put the rest of these in and we should see them all here and the colors there too so far they're both correct i guess that's purple all right feeding our last one in we'll go ahead and close this lock it up and everything lines up very nicely and you guys can see we have all of the right colors that we put in there which is our blue, our purple, our green there, and the peach. And again, we can turn on the dryer. And actually, this thing starts making noises as there's a fan, I guess, inside. That probably moves the hot air around. And you guys can see we're on the Ace 1, and we can actually have another Ace connected to this one. And we can have a total of eight different filaments. But yeah, let's go ahead and go down here. So here's going to be our normal controls. So that's the nozzle, the fan, the bed temperature there, auxiliary fan, and the chamber fan. And we also have calibration here, so we can do that if we need to again. And also we can move, you know, the individual parts of the printer, including our extruder if we needed to. Here we have settings, and these are going to be for network. We can also log in here to our account. We've got the print button here. So we got print settings, non-standard nozzle, which you can adjust here from the different ones that they have preset here so we're on the 0.4 you can go smaller for finer printing and also they have a hardened steel nozzle option going much larger which is a nice option but yeah for the print settings you got your led light here you can turn that on and off i guess we'll leave that on the filament detector and the belt detector here we have general settings the sound so you can turn that on and off i guess i'm gonna leave it on the language the screen time, how long it stays on before it goes into preservation mode. I'll probably click this to never for now. We've got support here and system restore if you want to, you know, restore back to factory settings. So let's just go ahead and start with our new file. Okay, so we're on history. We need to go back to local here. Let's see, test model. Maybe we should just start with a bench here. We need a PLA one though. What is this? This one, That's a PTG one. Hopefully you guys can see this, but... Okay, so here we have 44 minutes for a benchy. So this is going to be your typical normal printing benchy here. You can actually select what you want it to do before it prints. So we can do auto leveling, input shaping, and time lapse. So I think we don't need to do any of that since it already did all that. But let's do turn on the dryer though. While printing, I guess it's fine while printing. Four hours, okay, that's fine. Start, click on start print. So here it lets us decide which filaments we want to use out of the four that we have in the Pro. And I'm not sure what color would be best to see. Probably this purpley one. The darker one would be a little better to see the layer quality but yeah let's just use that and we'll click on start and it's going to start to print and this is what we see when we're printing and we should be using only the purple filament here which is the number two and it's going to do the usual you know startup sequence there clean itself out probably extrude hopefully extrude enough to get into here as our filament kind of kind of pushed to only about here which is about halfway or so but yeah guys so far everything's running really smooth with this thing and there's no issues whatsoever ace pro is really easy to set up you just plug it in put your filament in feed them through if you use the anti-cubic filament obviously it knows exactly what colors they are and what it is and the setup process was very simple here all right looks like it's ready to go and there it goes so yeah looks good it looks like a perfect offset too from the bed Alright, so all is good. We're printing our first print, which is the Benchy. Got the GoPro there sitting so we can get a little time lapse. And so far, so good. The Ace Pro is feeding our filament in. And here on the screen, we can see that we got 19% done. That's how much time we got left there. And that's the layer height, around 40 out of 240. File name there. 
our temperature. So if we click on that, we can actually change it. And then we got standard, sport, and quiet. So we can actually speed this thing up if we wanted to. It's going to leave it on standard for this one. And then our bed temperature here, we can adjust. Our fan speed's at 100. We can adjust that also. And then we got two more settings, the chamber fan, and then the auxiliary fan. Our light here, and then also our Ace Pro that we can go to, so yeah. And we have a pause and stop button if you wanna, you know, just pause it or cancel the whole thing. So yeah, guys, very intuitive, very easy to use, and everything just works. All right, so it took 43 minutes and 17 seconds to do that print and it is finished and it's looking really good. So the bed is pretty cooled off. Let's see if it just pops right off. Oh, look at that, very nice. So looking at the bottom, we can see there was a actually perfect distance. Wow, pretty impressive. The brim fell off or came off easily. So it looks good overall. The bottom looks great. The sides look really good. We can kind of see where it's a little shinier and less shinier as it goes up as that has to do with speed. But overall the walls are very smooth. We do have a little bit of ringing here. Very minor. Almost nothing there. And very minor stuff. Everything looks very clean. Cooling is great. Overhangs are great. So yeah, very impressive. Just right off the provided file that was included with the PLA filament. So for the next part, I want to try the color print on this one here. So we're going to turn the dryer on, click on start print, and here it's going to tell us which one and which colors. So we're just going to go with that. And there we go. And so we should be using all of these now as there are four colors to this multicolor print. All right, and away we go. So it looks like we started with number four. And it's that lighter peach color. And again, the offset from the nozzle to the bed is perfect. It's going to take 14 hours to do this. That is a little longer than I anticipated, but I guess we'll see what happens. And I can feel that this thing is definitely drying as it's warm, which is nice. And we can see the one that we're using is blinking. So let's go ahead and open this thing up so you guys can see a little better. So these things really help with keeping the tangles out and also keeping the spools rolling exactly where they needed. So we're also doing a perch tower there in the back. And I put this box back here so the little poops can drop in there instead of going everywhere. All right, so it looks like it's doing its filament change. Let's go ahead and see if we can see a little better here. Okay, so yeah, it's retracting number four. So you can kind of see it going backwards. And actually guys, this is the cutter here on the side, which it goes to this front part over here and uses that to cut the filament. I guess done retracting and we're pulling in the blue one, the tropical turquoise. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And so we should be able to see it. There it goes, I can kind of see the color pushing through there. And there it is, if you guys can see it, I'm going down into the hot end. And now it's gonna do the purge and then poop at the back and then start printing the next part. All right, so now it's printing the blue right there right in the middle so I don't know what happened but it looks like we're using two colors on the outer rings and then the blue and so we're missing the violet I don't know if I started it wrong or what but all right so I decided to stop the print because you know what's the point of printing the same color in both rings we got to use the four colors so if I go back to the print I think I missed the part let's see if I'm gonna keep that Okay, yeah, so here we can see the two colors there are together, so that's the issue. So what we should have done is change that. Let's see how to change that. Here. Let's see. Let's see if we want number two. Okay, so whatever you highlight, that color it will be. So this one we want this color. There we go. Now we got the four different colors. So I actually skipped that part, didn't notice it, and I started it on these two being the same color. So yeah, I guess I'm going to restart it. All right, so now we're printing the correct colors. Now we have four and we are at 12 hours and 46 minutes left. Ace Pro is doing great and we're collecting pretty good amount of poopies there in the back. So now we just wait till this thing's finished then it'll be a bit here till it's done. Alright so we're printing along and 
you guys can see maybe right there we have a uh, under extrusion and the reason for that as you guys can see right here the violet got snagged somewhere when i wasn't looking and this is why i was saying earlier that it's good that they went to these plastic spools because they spin really nice and there's no issues with those but with this cardboard one it keeps not able to spin and it looks like it's spinning on itself meaning on the filament and getting stuck in between so it's definitely an issue so if you're going to use the ace pro here you probably want to make sure that you use these kind of spools that are very round and not the cardboard kind because if you know it kind of you get snagged somewhere and doesn't you know retract correctly it's gonna get stuck and then we're gonna have under extrusion on the print so it appears that we're done but we are still retracting and i guess after that we should be completed and our model looks pretty good we also got this little purge tower there but this took incredibly long 17 hours and 46 minutes and 32 seconds which pretty long still and there we go back to our main menu but i guess we can go ahead and pull this out i'll let it cool down here this perch tower is pretty small plate's still warm so it took a little bit of force which is a good sign as it's sticking very well great sheet here i'm gonna let that cool off completely and then it'll pop right off and we'll take a closer look at it i mean it looks really good overall except for that under extrusion we had it did take a little longer than I would like, but you know, that's the price you pay for this setup with changing filament and colors. All right, so let's see what we got here. So it is cooled off and it pops right off. Great PEI sheet. Feels very durable. So we got a little brim here. Hmm, stuck actually pretty good. We also have some overhang problem. There's like droopage here. So it like didn't stick. Not sure why, maybe the angle. Looks like the angle is a little sharp. It's probably what it is. I'm not too sure what happened there. But other than that, and this under extrusion we had because of the tangle on our Ace Pro, it looks really good. And if we look at the bottom here, we can see the texture that the bed makes. And yeah, all of the rings spin freely. There's no issues. It worked out good overall. So we printed a couple prints. Overall, I would say pretty good. 